Ready. Welcome back to Hermiting with Holly and Susan. We've got a slightly different view right now because we're using a different program to record this because last night we tried to record some episodes and um, the technology I was using sort of, I don't know what was going on, but it was not working right. So. Definitely makes me a little more sympathetic like when you're watching any news shows these days and somebody like freezes or you see them doing this. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. And you're like, ooh. Exactly. That's and again, how it last night. Gives you more um <clears throat> more compassion for, for teachers who are trying to deal with this with kids too, you know. I mean, and the parents on the other side of the equation who are trying to deal with this with kids. So yeah. But anyways. Uh, I, I'm very thankful that I have Susan who sends me links and says, push this button. And I do, and I end up someplace. It's amazing. And, and I didn't end up the same place to start with again tonight. So hopefully we're doing better here. But anyway, so, uh, so Holly, with you, Susan. what's new with me? Um, I, I had surgery on my foot on Friday. Uh, my foot kind of looks like a, a lawnmower had a fight with it, and my foot lost, and the lawnmower won. It's... Uh, I, and it's funny because you, you just, again, and, and I know you know this, you had your whole thing in, oh, in the yeah. winter where you weren't able, but like your legs and your feet are kind of sort of critical, you know, to do yeah, anything. Well, most body parts are. And, they are. I'm super sympathetic because August was the first anniversary of the first surgery. The second one was in December. So like it's now been... And I started actually a lot with, of years. Did you with, with in June? It was a year from when I started dealing with the leg issues. So I yeah. feel that I'm finally not back to a hundred percent because I do find that things I did before without blinking an eye. You got to blink now. I blink a little, but I'm back to walking about five miles a day. Wow. I I am getting back on track. But seriously, it was a very long time. Tallulah has been ever so helpful because Tallulah- You gotta is, walk her, yeah. She is not a slow walker. <laughs> Tallulah, she wants to eat all the cars and she just wants to get where she wants to get, so. But, okay. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much me. I'd still, same old writing, pottery, minions. Family. That's yeah. That's that's yeah. pretty much. That. I was hoping we were going to be able to like get out and like actually be together in the same kind of out. And then and we were making plans for today to do it. And then I was like, oh yeah, foot. Oh yeah, forgot about the foot. So <laughs> sorry. I had enough trouble. I've been having enough trouble getting up to my office. But you know, like yesterday, I actually worked in my bed for my day job. But like today, this morning, I was like, I couldn't get my brain. You know how we've talked about how like setting and rituals and all of that matters right. and how like I have this set up here is my, is my Susan Gable work. But then over there, I have my day job computer and everything. Well, this morning I was like, I couldn't get my head wrapped around. So I was like, okay, I got to go upstairs. I have to be at my work station. Uh, would you like some um, infirm foot suggestions? Sure. Giant sweatpants with pockets. Oh, Because I, I got tired like super quick after the second surgery. I was on crutches for months and I hate it. Like everything in me. I don't know if any of you, I do stuff for myself. I do not request. Oh, alone. yes. I'm yeah. very much the so, same way. So I... I found giant sweatpants with pockets were wonderful because if I wanted something to drink, if you put it in a travel mug and in seal a, it, a bottle, you can right. shove it in a giant, but they have to be big. You can't wear tight, like fitted sweatpants. You want to borrow somebody larger than you's sweatpants. Got it. And you can load your pockets up with drinks or with snacks. snacks. And also another invalid tip, not that you have a walker, I didn't, but I found office chairs worked rather walker-like Yeah, because I would go make myself lunch, but because I was on crutches, you couldn't carry said lunch out to the couch to sit down to eat it. So yeah. I took my office chair on rollers and I kicked it into the kitchen. I made my lunch. I put it on my office chair and used it like one of the, the 
older people walkers with the seats. My dad has that, and that's exactly well, what he uses his for. He puts but you his, don't need a walker makes, to make it work. You just he makes his breakfast, it. and he puts his breakfast on the seat, and then he wheels it over to the Tell table. Tell your dad, uh, props to him, because I had it all worked out, and himself would be sitting there, and he's like, I could just get that for you. I'm like, nope, got it. I'm good. Got yeah. this managed, so... Um, See, I'm very much that same way, like independent to a fault, and it's driving me nuts. So nuts. office chair and large sweats. I just solved all your issues. There you go. I actually did have a walker back in the back in like late January, early February when my back went out on oh, me. Oh yeah. I had to borrow a walker. And I gotta tell you, this house, while I love it so much, it is not walker friendly especially the bathroom oh. it's very very narrow so it was like shuffle well, it sideways with my with the walker in the bathroom it was like we oh. bought my husband's parents house and when his dad had a sister who had polio and when his parents passed his dad's sister came to live with them so the whole house is set up for it's all handicap accessible. We did take out, we redid the back bathroom and took out the wheelchair friendly sink. But other, but the door's still super wide. Nice. Yeah. I feel that as I age, should that become a necessity? You're in good shape. I'm yeah, good. I'm I'm gonna have to move into a different house because <laughs> this house is not gonna cut it. <laughs> no, pretty much everything was up here except for the washer and dryer. But because I spent like three or four months on crutches when I had the original accident, you can do laundry and be on crutches if the laundry's downstairs. It's all about throwing. I would take my laundry basket, still did it while I was recuperating this time. You go to the top of the stairs, you kick it all slide down. Slide it down. <laughs> you kick it and it falls out the whole way, but then you slide down on your butt, you throw your crutches down too, you slide <laughs> down on your butt, you pick up clothes as you go along and throw them in the basket. And then when you get down there, you just kick it in the laundry room and I feel like I was exercising my leg without putting weight on it and started doing my own laundry once again. There you go. That's how I wrote. Well, so now so, you know. So when we say tripping with Holly and Susan, we are a full service. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We can handle it. We, can, we got you covered if you actually did go tripping because, you know, we, we know we how to, to handle these things now. So, yeah, should something happen, knock on one, it never does. You just give us a shout. We'll give you some tips. We'll, we'll give you some tips. But so what's new with you guys out there? You know, uh, same old, same old, or you got something new and something good going on? Let us know down in the comments. And now we're going to go see if we can make this technology work for a few more segments. Yeah, there we go. So we will see you next time.